Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX 2013 is brought to you by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. Crazy things you're announcing here at the show, or talking about here at the show, we got World of Warplanes, which we have a separate video with you about, and World of Tanks Xbox 360 Edition. What did you guys do to bring the World of Tanks experience to the console? You know, we did a lot, actually, and the first thing that's really important is that the game is not a port. We didn't just take the PC version and figure out how to squeeze it onto a console. The game is built completely from the ground up by our studio in Chicago, Wargaming West, formerly Day One Studios, if you uh, know, know about sort of their pedigree and their experience in the gaming industry. And you know what? The game is really built specifically for the 360. We sped up the pace a little bit so tanks move a little bit faster. The action unfolds a little bit quicker. And we did things also like taking the progression system of um, researching new tanks, unlocking new tanks, and made that a little bit quicker too because compared to the PC version, console gamers are different. You know, I mean, we just didn't want to take the PC version, put it on a console, and hope people liked it. We really wanted to fine tune the game for those console gamers in mind. Well, I think both PC gamers and console gamers are going to appreciate that because PC gamers hate having something as simple as uh, how many key bindings they can have or how the UI is structured. They, they hate seeing a console version because they're sitting right in front of their computer. So well, you guys have completely redesigned the UI as well. Yeah, we totally have. You know, like you mentioned, on the PC world of tanks, you're sitting in front of a monitor that's maybe a foot away from your face. So looking at all the UI and all the visual options, it's easy. Um, on, the, on the 360, you're probably six to eight feet away from a TV on your couch. So the development team really completely redesigned and overhauled how the UI looks and where all the different elements are on the screen. And then on the control side too, obviously, taking a game that's keyboard and mouse, they've done a great job of really condensing everything onto the controller for the 360 and really losing no accessibility and no option in the process. Now it's going to be a different game, obviously, so cross-platform play is just not a thing. What were the challenges? Uh, honestly, yeah, unfortunately, there's no cross-platform play. Microsoft has a very specific infrastructure in terms of how its data centers and servers work for multiplayer and things like that, so unfortunately we just couldn't get it to work out. But honestly, you know, we look at going to the 360 not as really, not as really an attempt to get PC players to go to console or vice versa, you know, they've got like 80 million plus 360s out there. They've got 48 million live subscribers for the 360. So it's, for us, it's, it's a great opportunity to really get World of Tanks in front of a completely new audience that maybe knows about us or never even heard about us or never played our games. So new audience, new game, um, same business model. You're still not charging for the game. Yep. So uh, how, how does it work then? How do you get access? How do you play World of Tanks Xbox 360? So the game is actually, it's free to play for gold. So if you're a gold subscriber on Xbox Live, you download the client you're in. Um, if you're a level below, which is silver, you're going to get a seven day time trial. After that seven days expires, you're going to have to upgrade. But like you said before, if you're gold, it's free to play. We're going to have in-game purchases just like we did on World of Tanks for PC. Um, the economy and the pricing is pretty much going to be exactly to scale as that, uh, the PC version. So uh, the in-game items are uh, like the PC, I mean, you guys have this philosophy sort of across the board, but is there going to be a competitive advantage really to buying in-game items? No, and you know, that philosophy you said, we call it free to win. And the, really the basis of it is that what we want is whether you're a paying player or a non-paying player, you can go into our game and have an equal experience. So yeah, none of our in-game purchases give you an advantage in battle. We want it to be about skill. A lot of the things that we sell are based on convenience or personalization and customization. So we have consumables, things like repair kits, first aid kits, skins for your tanks, emblems for your tanks, but nothing that's going to make you better than another player in the game. It's all about skill. Tell me when you're launching and tell me what you're going to have available at launch. Sure. So right now, the game is in beta in North America, so that's the US and Canada. And last week, we also announced the launch of the beta in Europe. Um, the game is going to be out this year. We don't have a firm release date yet, but it will launch with about 70 tanks for the US and German lines. And then after that, we have a very, very aggressive schedule for downloadable content. New modes, new maps, new nations, new tanks, all of that stuff. That's really made the PC version of World of Tanks such a success. We're going to totally do the same stuff on 360. That sounds fantastic. So thank you, Chris, for taking the time to hang out with us. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And guys, just a reminder, our sponsors here at the show are Western Digital, Intel, and Steel Series. Huge thanks to them for allowing us to be here.